You guys may be aware that there's software out there that allows you to encrypt your entire hard drive on the fly so that you don't have to worry about it getting stolen and people being able to access your hard drive, but it still pretty much behaves like a normal hard drive. Some of these include BitLocker for Windows, TrueCrypt, and Veracrypt. Now, while these are really secure and they're a great idea to have, the one downside is that they have a toll on performance because the CPU and the computer have to do the encryption and decryption to the hard drive and do all that processing before it writes the data. However, there is an alternative that you might not have known about, and that is hardware encryption drives, sometimes called self-encrypting drives. These can be either hard drives or solid state drives that do the encryption and decryption automatically at the hardware level. It has nothing to do with the operating system, which has a great advantage because then you don't have any performance taken away from the computer. The hard drive handles all the processing for the encryption. In these drives, you're typically going to have two main components, the storage, obviously, where you're gonna put the data, and the hardware encryptor, which is part of the drive system. And that is what handles all the encryption, not the drive, as I mentioned. And as a matter of fact, when you put this drive in, after you boot up through the BIOS or whatever, the operating system basically sees the hard drive as a regular hard drive. It doesn't have to handle anything. It just says, oh, I wanna write this data, and then the hard drive itself converts it and encrypts it and writes it to the drive, and when the operating system wants it back, it decrypts it and sends it to the operating system, so you have no issues with performance being taken away from the computer. It's all done on the hard drive. As I mentioned, these are available as both SSDs, hard drives, even thumb drives have these, and the idea is that when you boot up the computer before you launch any operating system or anything, you're gonna have to type in the authentication password that unlocks the drive so you can boot anything that's on it. So it could be, for example, like a BIOS password if it's tied into the BIOS, that sort of thing. And then even if someone tries to steal the hard drive out of the computer when it's off, they're never gonna be able to use any of the data or look at it at all because it's all encrypted, it just looks like a bunch of garbage. So once you boot into the drive and launch the operating system, all the data is gonna be accessible like it was a normal hard drive. So that's also why it's important to have a operating system password like on Windows and lock your computer, especially like if it's on a laptop because if someone steals the laptop while the computer's on and you don't have a password, then they can just log into your account and copy all the files over and the encryption doesn't help you at all. But if you do have a password on Windows, then they might try to log in. They obviously won't be able to get into it or access any of the files while it's unencrypted state. But if they try to take out the drive thinking they can just bypass Windows, then they won't be able to access any of the data unencrypted. So to be clear, the data isn't all encrypted or unencrypted when you turn the computer on and off. It's literally done on the fly, piece by piece. So that way, even if the power fails, then all the data on the drive is still encrypted. Typically, you're gonna see these self-encrypting drives on higher end, like business laptops, workstations, and that sort of thing. And even if it is marketed as a workstation or a business laptop, you still wanna check to see if it does have this feature. And even if it does, you wanna make sure you enable it, otherwise, it'd be kind of a waste of money. And you can actually buy these separately, these drives, and put it into whatever computer you want, like a regular laptop or even desktop. And I would say it's really beneficial for a laptop, especially because you're probably gonna have a password on there anyway. If you don't have a password on your laptop, I mean, what are you doing? That's more likely to be stolen than a desktop. So I definitely recommend, if you're gonna get it for anything, get it for a laptop. Because then you're getting the best protection with no performance decrease. And maybe you even do wanna get it for your computer. If you don't mind typing in a password every day when you boot up the computer, then you don't have to worry about someone breaking into your house or stealing, which is a possibility. Though the only downside of these drives, as you'd expect, they do cost more money typically. They might be marketed as enterprise drives, although some Samsung consumer drives do have this feature and it might not be as expensive as you think. I'm interested to hear what you guys think down in the comments section, or if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. I also made a new video if you guys want to support me through Amazon, it's no cost to you. I teach you how to put my Amazon affiliate link as your bookmark, and that way you can support my channel without having to pay anything. So if you're interested in that, I'll put that link right here. You can click that or look in the description as well.
If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I think it should be worth it. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys either in the comments section or on Twitter. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.